morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it is for you. Welcome, welcome to this uh, third live chat of the series on where I'm working on this project, which is a prog progressive web app. I know we haven't touched about what makes this app a progressive web app, but I know there's other things uh, of value in there. So welcome, welcome. My name is Yves Gurkan. I'm, um, well, I do work a couple of different hats, I guess, but uh, I'm an engineering manager slash senior software engineer at Dept in the US branch of Dept, which is a dig digital global uh, agency. Um, I'm very excited to be here, and uh, yeah, I guess the you know we we've, we've been working on this form right there uh, to let users uh, of this application add their own cards to this deck, uh, which has been pretty fun. And this is an actual project, by the way. the The way it's presented in the stream is is a little modified because you know uh, you can't really reveal client. Um, you know, data and inte intellectual property and stuff like that. But uh, the you know the core principle is still still valid and it's the same. And I haven't touched this particular uh, part of the work since last time. And uh, you know, I took a little bit of time to write a, a bit of a to-do list up there that you can see on the screen. And so hopefully, this is what we're gonna get to today. And uh, we're gonna have about two hours of time ahead of us, and uh, yeah, let's see, let's see if we can get to it. Uh, we have four items on the on on the agenda. Uh, the first one is that when we create our cards, we want to make sure that the cards are not too long because they do have kind of a set, a rectangular shape, and we don't want it to be too too long. So we're gonna limit the input when uh, when users enter questions. Um, on the card. Uh, the second thing is when we delete a card, there's something funky that happens when, when we do, let's see, if we delete this one, for example, we're gonna go from one to three because card two has been deleted. So we're gonna need to reorder our cards when we delete one of them. Also, I'm noticing this one as a zero, which I thought this is something we fixed. So I wanna make sure that we haven't regressed <laughs> in terms of uh, functionality because I'm I'm wondering if this is kind of because this is bad data that I entered a while ago or yeah anyway so something for me to keep in mind uh, the third thing is and this one is actually the most important and it's probably the one that might have the least code involved maybe we I don't know but uh, I know that you know when you let users have an ability to create something then immediately you dive pretty much in the question of like people misusing that that functionality to you know broadcast you know messages of, of hatred and or you know profanities or anything that's kind of you know not things you want to really see in your app so you know the, this is a fairly small project so we don't necessarily have uh, human moderation available to us. So one of the things that I would like to see is if there is a way for us to automate the check on the cards so that when the user creates a card, if they're using a word that is inappropriate, we are able to filter this and tell, you, tell the user, nope, we're not going to create this card because this is something, there's something inappropriate in it. Uh, I know that this is something that that's going to be important because uh, right now the creation of the card is kind of limited to your own device, so you can't sh you cannot share these cards. You can only see them on your own device, which is already cool. But the the thing that would make it really interesting is if you can create your own cards and share them with somebody else. And in order to share with somebody else, we got to make sure that the content. Is, is appropriate and it doesn't, you know, is, is not racist or anything of, of that nature. So so that's going to be an interesting challenge. It's going to be probably a lot of research. And uh, this is, uh, uh, yeah, this is something that might take some time. Or maybe we go straight in a dead hand and say there's no solution. Or maybe there are things we can explore. So I'm very curious to see what ha what's going to happen for this. And then the fourth item, which is probably going to be, I think, a next stream, because we have a stream next week as well, uh, on, on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, as, uh, as usual. 
So the next dream, if we do find a way to kind of help make sure these cards that are created are appropriate, then we can add the sharing feature for these um, for these custom cards. Okay. So, and that said, I probably want to make sure that we disable that sharing icon for now because it's actually not going to work as expected. And even if it looks like it does, it's not going to do it. So anyway, oh, and we still see these, uh, yeah, Firefox gets in the way of the notification somehow. Anyway, all right, so let's get to it. Enough chit chat. Uh, time is limited. <laughs> All right, so the first one uh, is limiting the number of characters per question. So that should be fairly straightforward. I could use um, a, a, a solution like Joy, J-O-I, to do form validation, but I kind of decided to go kind of like the route of reinventing the wheel uh, because right now the application is fairly small and I don't expect it to scale big. So it's kind of okay to have our own solution that's kind of quickly does the job as opposed to something that's more robust, but might also be, you know, more cumbersome to install and more heavy and stuff like heavier and stuff like that. So uh, I'm okay with that approach of just kind of handcrafting the form validation, <clears throat> and uh, let's uh, let's continue on that path. Okay, so. Uh, one of the first thing we want to do is kind of understand how many characters can we get into in there. So uh, let's see what we can do. So essentially, as you can see here, the cards they have this kind of rectangular shape, and you know they they go that far. So let me see if I can grab this whole card. So this is kind of the size of the card right here. So we're talking about roughly 700 pixels uh, high, 350-ish uh, wide, and, and all of them are, are like that. Um, I mean, you can see that they align. So the idea is, and I'm going to use my dev tools to kind of showcase what I'm talking about, is that let's say here we have a much longer card. Um, so this is actually good enough, which is great, but let's keep going. So the thing that I don't want to happen is something like that. So you can see there is a mismatch now because this card has a lot of text and the card is politely trying to show all of it. And, uh, but the problem is like the card next to it is not going to be the exact same height. So we could you know we could go around this and kind of make all the cards be like match the length like the longer card could be the one setting how what the height of the other card should be uh, we could go that route but the problem with that is that aesthetically this card looks very long and I don't think we really want that so it's a bit of an aesthetical choice, uh, but uh, it seems like it's fair to just say, okay, this is enough characters and, you know, you should be able to put that question in there in because it's also a short format. It's not supposed to be a whole dissertation on, on a specific topic. So it seems like cutting that, uh, how long that question is, is appropriate, is an appropriate decision in this case. So. Uh, let's do this, and I guess uh, I guess there's two ways we can do this. We can do this via JavaScript, or we could very simply use attribute HTML attribute. So, what if I just uh, went the easy way? Uh, maybe we can go the easy way first and do the HTML attribute, but still have a check under uh, like under the hood with JavaScript. So, okay. Let's give this a try. So let's actually we will start with the JavaScript method and then HTML is going to be after because otherwise we're going to be stepping on our own toes. So let's get a rough idea of how many characters can we put in there before it gets too long. And I know that it might be more like word, so it's not going to be a perfect measure. So there's still going to be cases where things are not quite perfect, but we're also not too concerned about that so so yeah let's 
So, and this is very, I know this is very crude. I know that what I'm doing is, you know, it could be a lot um, more defined, but this is also okay because the, the expectations and the assumptions around this app are not uh, very, very strict. We have a bit of freedom, so it's okay if things can be, you know, there's always edge cases. There's always gonna be somebody who's gonna find a way to go around this limitation, uh, but it's not too much of a concern in this case. So here we have, and we can just grab this, and we can just uh, try to figure out the length of it. Uh, we have 116 characters in this case. Okay. okay. So I know that the length of the words is going to be, is definitely going to be a factor that changes things. So, okay. What we could do is to be safe, not to be safe, but let, let's keep it. Yeah, I feel like this should be enough to ask a single question. So I'm tempted to go to towards the conservative side and say 100 characters is going to be the limit, but I can also try with 110. So let's just start with that. And um, and we can add that to our constants. We have that kind of here. Um, so ta -ta 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 -ta. we can create like a new constant here as we, um, we can call it something like um, max character for question and we're gonna give it 110 to start with and now we have this available to our application it reloads for us which is great uh, do we already import our config stuff no it doesn't look like we do so we're gonna go get it uh, uh, from and then it's gonna be config oof, and then constants it's kind of a little thing that I've started doing for myself it's kind of like keeping constants in one file so it's kind of de facto a config file Okay, so this is great. So now let's remember, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we have our validation going on. So we have a couple of different things happening. I guess it's a little messy. Maybe we could use some functions to kind of clarify what is happening, but let's see. So we got dinner validation, set new guy property. <clears throat> if there's no value, then tell them, yeah, give them the error message about how it's required. Uh, if this is, um, if there is a value, so if there is no value, then Okay, show them that it's required. If there is, if this is, if there is an error, an existing error, then clean up the error. That's what this does. Okay. So, this is another if else that we're going to do, is what it seems like. Okay. And so, so if property yeah, so we could we could also kind of make sure that these are strings just as a little bit of type safety because why not but uh, in this case so we have access to the property and the property is, yeah, it's the name. Cool, 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 cool. So, so I don't think it's gonna bite us because, uh, so, you know, categories don't really work into that realm of 
um, you know, limits because you know the categories are preset, so users cannot actually create their own categories. But um, but yeah, but like it's not likely that we're gonna have a category that's more than a hundred characters long. So I think that you know because one of the thing is that this um, function right here works for every kind of field. So if it's an input field, if it's text, if it's a text field or a drop down, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna apply the same validation rules. But uh, in this case, it's okay because we're not going to have a category that's over 100 characters or 110 characters. So, if value length is greater than max factor per question, then we have to have a new error message. And so in this case, So, oh, 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 oh. Uh, error type. So, and here we can definitely put some types in here. Here we go. And so here, in this case, we're gonna make sure that it's like required. And in this case is Mike's car or too long. So I got required. And I think we're going to do else if here because just in case we just want to make sure like I feel like it's okay to not assume that there's a default behavior. Um, maybe we can do this. We can do a switch, I think. Okay, so let's do a switch in this case based on the validation error type. So for the default, we're just going to return an empty string because we don't if we don't recognize the validation error type, then we don't know what's going on, so let's not assume anything. But if we do know that it's required, then we can send a and the appropriate error message. So there we go. That should be good. All right, and so this should be returning a string. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So here in this case, we're gonna return uh, what is too long? Should be shorter than, and then we use that number. So that way we can just be very precise about our error. So this is great. So now let's see. Oh, oof. Uh, let's see, did I, yeah, I probably, I'm probably using this somewhere else, and yeah, it's not happy about it. So, there we go, there we go, there we go. So now I have this kind of like, yeah, all these messages, all these kind of checks are repeated, which is not ideal, it's kind of getting to us not getting to us but it's not helping us in this case but oh well it happens okay so we're gonna put a whole bunch of characters in there and oh well haha interesting oh well it should be happening ah there we go okay cool so this is good and now if we do this it is going to let me create the cards yeah so we need to inst to have this check also on creation so do, 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 do. so it's kind of like yeah
I guess we can be more precise in this case. I think it's okay to uh, go like that. Now I'm gonna repeat here. It's gonna be too long. Too long. And it's gonna be the length of the string that we're looking at. And we can do an else if because there's no need to run these two. One should be plenty to figure out. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is not gonna work if there's the. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, question. Oh, what did I. Did I mess something up? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I got if, else if, if, else if. It's strange that it's not happy here. I wonder. Is this an actual? Okay, it was just type three catching up on us. All right, cool. So, so now if I just type a whole bunch of characters, man, it's gonna complain to us. There we go. And we're still not gonna let us create. Even if we pick this, yeah. right? All right. Yeah. So why is this guy? That's interesting that it's, oh, is this? Oh, uh, because the cleanup here happens. Or is that? Hmm. If there is a new character, then we can clean up. But yeah, we have to. <laughs> we have to also make sure that the length is is before under or equal. Oh, where is it for the category field? No! <laughs> okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's too many ampersands. There we go. That should be. Oh, <laughs> I did it again. Okay, so. If that length is equal or below. Then we're good. So yeah, that should be fine. So now when we submit this, oh no, hmm, <sighs> this. Oh, because I didn't expect this, I didn't update this. There we go. And I should stick around. Okay, that is good. Maybe we can put a little note here that says clean up general error message if form validates is yeah, is abides by validation rules. There we go. That's it. Um, Okay, so now we have that. Uh -huh. But here's the, here's the funny thing. 
Uh, the funny thing is, this is something we can also achieve with HTML. Limit character input attribute. So if we look at this, we can have a max length. So, yeah. So I think we're going to use that too. And I'm just going to put it on the input, which is right here. We're going to put it right here. There we go. And then max character. So I think this might need to be uh, like that. And I believe that. There we go. So here we're going to go below. I was going to remove the message. That's great. And then there we go. We can't write more because the browser itself is in handling that validation. But Brothers might handle this differently. So, ooh. ah, we have some crazy updates happening. Okay, what is happening? Okay, okay, that's probably with this. Is that the problem? All right, oh, here comes my cat. <laughs> He's right here. It's coming. Oh, he's staying on the corner for now. Cool. All right. So, hmm. yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if that error shows up as we are. No. Yeah, it's it's definitely not happy. So right here. <laughs> I wonder if there's something that I have modified by mistake that I didn't mean to. Because the thing is, if there is a... If this submit is not empty, it might be... Be the best thing to do. So, to, to submit is not empty, and so that should I believe that should limit our yeah. There we go. Now we don't have uh, an infinite loop because once submit is empty, then we don't do this again. But we still have this happening. There we go. So it's still working as expected, but it doesn't go into an infinite loop. So, okay. So now the question is, when we say that max length is 110 characters for the attribute, is it? Yeah, it's exactly 110. So this is great. And uh, I don't think we're gonna put a limit on the minimum amount of characters we want. I guess it's, uh, Probably one, I guess we can use that, that mean length to say one, and we should be good. And that's, I feel like it's okay to have a kind of a magic number here. But yeah, it's not gonna really do much in our case. But at least it's there, so it's helpful. Okay, so we can cross this one of the list. Perfect. All right, so now let's take care of the deleting of the cards. So, you know, as described, this is uh, this is a. I'm gonna create it, and we're gonna have. I mean, it is, it does number as one, so I don't know where this zero came from. It must have been an old card. Then I have B, and then we're gonna have C. And 
and we're gonna make D as well. There we go. Oop, I guess I clicked on it. So we got one, two, and three and four, which is great. But now if we have if we delete this guy, then we have one, three, and four. So <clears throat> the things that we're gonna need to do is we are going to in our process when we delete um, our cards, we're gonna need to um, renumber them all. So that's gonna be a little cumbersome, but that is what it is. Uh huh. So when we delete right here, we are going to. So we have our custom cards right here. So what's going to be the best way to renumber them? A create a new, so I guess custom cards, is that a map? Yeah, so we're going to create a, a renum, renumbered custom cards. We're going to, we're going to need to renum, re, recreate a new map. So it's going to be a new map and also we're going to use custom cards. So if we do this, uh, yeah, it needs to be, okay, array from, okay, so we make it into an array, and then we, yeah, we just put it like this, oh, there we go, so I'm mm, yeah, we got, I've got a loaf right here, <laughs> uh, you know, is is answering the call to the warm computer in these rainy days. <laughs> okay. So we need to do this after we delete the card from the map. So we delete the card from the map. We uh, re grab the list. And then what we, we, what we need to do here is that we are going to do some mapping. So we're going to map through uh, the custom cards and so I believe we should be this should be a like two I yeah. so I believe that the way it should work is ah yeah index and then custom card one I believe that this should be good enough I don't know if it's just gonna do the trick though. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure that if you grab an array like this, it's going oh, interesting. I'm giving it us an HTML comment somehow. I'm pretty sure that if we do this what we get is like an array of arrays yeah exactly exactly so the idea is that yeah so the thing is like I don't believe that uh, TypeScript believes me when I'm it doesn't know what we're talking about here so I think Let's see, how can I define this type in a way that doesn't, that makes everybody happy? So also, I need index. Is, or is that just in, no. So custom card, it's, it is a string. Okay, maybe I need another. Hmm. Do, 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 do. What does array from return is a good question. So if I do this, what is the type of A? Ah, there we go. Thank you. That's exactly the notation I was looking for. Except that is going to be string any. 
Unless it doesn't want it to be any any. But I'd like to mention yeah, it would be Oof. Mm. of type and need to to prototype. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be Oof, any any is gonna be the time uh yeah, I believe. It's map oh. <laughs> Oof. Oh Lord. Why is it not happy with that notation? Or can I do this? There we go. Okay. So now we've defined the type, which is good. But then, what is the issue here? Because this looks chunky. So no. So iterable, read only, any, 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 any. That, you know, of type iterable, no, read only. Hmm. Doesn't like what I'm doing, so maybe we need to kind of um. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it seems like opening up what we're we doing here, so that it's not as in one block could be helpful. So. Custom cards, array, it's okay to name it like that. I'm gonna map through it. Ah, ah, it's a lot happier right now. Uh, ex ooh, okay, so that was just that, really. Interesting, okay, uh -huh. so here. So that should do it. So it's going to be index plus one, so we don't have. And then we don't need to do an array from because, well, I guess we don't need to make it a map. We just kind of keep it as an as an array of arrays, and then oh, I'm going too fast. No, actually, we don't. Yeah. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, because the index is going to be trustworthy. So here, it's uh, that should be working just fine. Let's see what happens. So now, if I delete this guy, let's see. If, do we need to? No. Okay, something didn't quite work. <clears throat> and it might be useful to inspect the resulting object that we get out of this. <laughs> so, oh. yeah, let's be a category. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so let's see we got past three two three <laughs> that's a problem so let's see what happened here what we have is one and two yeah that looks good in here the problem is what is the problem Oh, no. Oh, crap. The card number is right here. It needs to also be um, yeah, these need to be also updated. Uh, this is why it's not as easy as I was hoping for. So, okay. 
So here we're gonna do a little more manipulation of the object where we're gonna just keep it as it is and we're gonna make some assumptions about the shape of the object. Whew. Ah, this is gonna get ugly. So let's open this up. Because it's uh, getting a little crazy. So, so we're returning. So. Uh, human friendly index is index plus one so we can return that at least and then a renumbered card is gonna be this guy so we're gonna continue Yeah, okay, so and then custom card. Yeah, things are getting a little uglier, but at least we're getting rid of some unelegant stuff. Okay, so I got the front here, and then I got the card. And that's going to be a human friendly index number. And then we're going to do the same with the back. Mm -hmm. We don't need that extra one. And then we're going to call it back. And we're good. Okay, so that should do the trick. So if I delete this guy. Boom! This one becomes one, but somehow it's you know, something interesting happened. So let's take a look at that. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I'm gonna delete A. Okay, no, that worked as expected. Now we're gonna have D. I wanna make sure there's no weird situation happening. So I'm deleting this guy, okay. This guy, okay. Okay, yes, we have renumbering, perfect. This is great. All right, we're doing some good progress. Uh, so this is also good. Uh, yeah, don't worry too much about the shuffle and the back button. These will be fixed uh, separately. Da -da -da. This is looking good. We have this happening. So now we're gonna have the, the I think what is gonna be the in most interesting part of this work uh, so let's see and do some research. See what, if we can do, like, what's the best way to get rid of inappropriate content in an automated way. So let's see. Uh, do we have console logs that I have not cleaned up that is possible? Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh. What? Did it just wake up? Spread object type. Custom card is. It is an object, I promise to you. Will you believe me? <laughs> no. Uh. It seems actually happy, so yeah, I guess TypeScript is kind of doing its own thing. Sometimes it's kind of catching up. 
Oh, I love how my cat is just have his head resting on the right side of the of the keyboard right of the yeah of the laptop right now. Oh oh no no don't press buttons. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so before I got sidetracked by my cat, let me see. Let's see how we can. Okay, so npm uh, remove inappropriate content let's see bad words oh bad words see there's a, a package for that so bad word so so two years ago is yeah so I, so this is from two years ago it says version 2 requires to have an, an environment in yes 2016 or transpile it like Babel, which is okay. We have that, so I don't believe that should be a problem. So we have this library, and then if you filter, then it takes a word and makes it into stars. That's great. Um, and then you can even change what the word, what the Wow, this is cool. And then you got a re regular expression override. So what are we talking about here? Hmm. Oh, I see you can also do other characters. Okay. Oh, it's a new filter. Now the filter is the, oh. Oh, it's oh, it's just a regular expression. Is that? Huh. Wait, that's interesting. You can add words to the blacklist if you want, so you can make it custom. Uh, empty list. Okay. So this is this sounds pretty good. The question is. This is pretty cool. So, okay, so let's look at the API. So you get the constructor. Uh, we saw the, the options for it. So it's profane. Um, so that's just kind of, we get it, it's profane, okay. So you don't have to have placeholders, that's okay, yeah. Uh, replace word so you can okay clean edit version okay add words remove words okay cool 2013 that's a pretty old piece of software let's look at the code base can we where's oh there we go here's the code base let's look at the code base I'm curious to see kind of like what are what is the list of where, where does it come from language to JSON okay all right okay so we have about 450 I mean yeah 450 give or take <laughs> occurrences well, some of them are a little... Okay. So that is definitely the hand, the, the manual approach that I was... Yeah, like the manual approach, which is probably the least effective one. But here we have like this free list that kind of comes for free, which is neat. And we also have a little, a quick system around it that kind of you know so essentially we're saving like this code to write the the trouble of writing this code essentially mm -hmm. yeah so that could be like a good way to not reinvent the wheel in this case which is nice uh, let's see if there's something that could be a little stronger so randomly replaces text with oh 
Nope, that's the opposite of what we want to do. Uh, Leo profanity. Oh, sure, stuff dictionary. That's interesting. This could be a lot more, a lot more robust. Robust is a hard word for me to say somehow. So, Shutterstock Dictionary. I'm not familiar with the Shutterstock Dictionary. I wonder what this is. Dictionary images? No. Because I know Shutterstock and a dictionary makes me wonder what that... Yeah, anyway. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, but we do want it to support all the languages we can have. So, so like it's got English, French, and Russian. I wish it was Spanish as well in there. Um, okay. So algorithm. So we do two parts: sanitize and filter. Sanitize. Oh. Oh no, this is not what I'm... Well, no, it does. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see. Sorry, I was not understanding what the sanitize was about. Well, it's in the tame. It sanitizes the, the input string. It makes it lowercase. It tries to see if you're trying to go around the filter. Um... Yeah, they could be false positive, unfortunately. That that would be problematic. Um, then replace. Oh yeah, also, oh, yeah. Yeah, and then filter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suspicious words. <laughs> People always find a way to connect with each other. Yeah, that's that's kind of the bottom line of this thing. Is like. There's always going to be people who find ways to go around filters like this is kind of the reality, unfortunately. So this probably goes with 1.1, which is lowercase, share, 1.3, which is replacing dots and commas with spaces, okay. And 2.1, which is to split into an array. Okay. So, I guess it's not going with the most aggressive. It doesn't... Okay, it doesn't go with the most aggressive thing, so... Yeah, but... Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Alright. That's interesting. So now I would love to see what we have when it comes to... Uh, okay, so how does that work? Under the hood is what I'm curious about. So because dictionary... Okay, and this is also an old thing. Um, yeah, we're talking... I don't know, I guess it's been released recently, two months ago. And like how many we have... How many issues? There are no issues. This one has 40 issues. 300 forks, 400 stars, 13 forks. Yeah, this one is not as used, but I don't think that discards it. All right, so dictionary. Ah, okay. This is a, a shorter list, but it seems like it might be it might be... What if we use both lists? Because <laughs> we could use two filters. <laughs> oh, that could be fun. So, 
Oh, is that does this one? No, default don't chase it. So like let's see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's uh that's interesting. So Yeah, that dictionary is pretty short. That's uh that's too bad. But hey, we got got two like we have two kind of simple solution pretty room. <coughs> 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 French bad words list. <laughs> also, wait, what does it say that it it supports French and Russian? Like, what are you talking about? I'm only seeing English words in there. Oh, French bad words list. Oh, really? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is promising a lot more than <laughs> it actually does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Bad words list. A highly consumable list of bad English word based on a nice short and simple list found in Google's What Do You Love project. Made accessible by Jane. Oh, that's no good. Eight years ago. Ooh. Inspired by bad words. It has been exposed as an object that contains. Okay. Um, yeah, so it just shows the list. It's kind of, then you have to kind of do it on your own kind of thing. Okay. So this is really just a list more than anything else. Sure. I mean, depend on the... Oh, no. The list is just there. Oh, <laughs> no. This is very short. Index. Oh boy. Oh, this is so disappointing. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we're not. This is probably n not, not great. So, profanity cleanser. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you got locale, locale, which is nice. Let's look at the code. So, seven years old, that's not promising. <laughs> Maybe do I have to do this? Yeah, okay, let me. Oh, oh, my dear cat, you're in the way. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see here. But a data. So we got seed. Ah. Oh. 
Oh no, this is too short. This is not gonna do much. <sighs> Nine months ago was the last release. So, all these different, all these different solutions, they all offer the same idea of like, here's a hundred words that we think are swear words, and we're gonna tell you when we find them, so. <laughs> this might be... Uh, this is also old. It's a text list. Ah. Ah, so this is a lot more substantial. So that's good. And it is. Okay. <clears throat> Pause right, my nose a little stuffy. Action. No. <laughs> it's just a poor request. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, interesting. There seemed like there was an API to do that. This one is shorter somehow. Uh, let's see, filter for the. Armeric language? Um, no. Web extension? Okay. Why not? Mm, profane? Profane for each place. Okay. So tell me, where? How do you get? Profane.js is indeed where the action is. Oh, okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Sure. Profane.js. That's such a funny, weird name for a file. Oh, hi! Hello, hello! It's the yay! Welcome! Welcome to the stream! We are looking for ways to censor our app so that users don't write profanities, obscene words, bad words, swear words uh, when they create content in there. So. You know, whenever so they they can create uh, 
decks of cards. And we want to make sure that when they do so, you know, that anything that's obscene would be, uh, you know, rejected essentially. So that's kind of what we're doing right now for that application. It's in React. And uh, we're trying to find a good solution because, you know, we don't have the luxury of uh, human moderation, which would probably be the best solution. You know, having essentially, you know, when it comes to big platforms, like if you think about Twitter, uh, Instagram, I mean, I guess Instagram is, is image based, so I'm not sure what how they function, but like the, the big example that comes to mind are, uh, I mean, I guess TikTok is probably one where censorship is pretty strong. A lot of words are, you know, not okay to use, but anyway, like in general, the best way to approach, you know, profanity content is to, uh, maybe Facebook, is to have a machine kind of kind of weed through the content so it can flag out content and say this I content might be offensive and and then have a human check what the machine has found and the human can say okay this is actually offensive and and say we reject this or say oh no this is actually a false positive let's clear this so so there is a lot of implication with that process. First of all, you have humans, uh, and there's also like a delay between the time you create the thing and, and when it's published. Uh, but I guess you don't need to have, you know, it's more like, no, you publish immediately, but the moderation ha has to happen quickly is what I was trying to say. It's like, you know, so anyway, in, in the, in the, for this particular project, we are not going to have humans. So we're trying to find, um, a solution that works without having uh, yeah, having somebody involved directly in the process. So, so that can be challenging. And the thing is, like, if we can't find something that's solid enough, essentially, we're going to limit the feature to... Because essentially, the reason why we want to uh, filter profanities and obscenities is because you know the cards have a sharing feature so if you want to create your custom cards and share them we need to filter them so that there's nothing obscene that goes through but if we can't find a solid enough solution something that's not satisfactory and not not feeling good enough then we just don't share these cards because all the other cards are curated so none of them would have profanities in them so that's kind of where the 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 what's the ins and outs of the question are so you say you maybe can use ai but i don't know maybe it will be complicated yeah i mean something that has some you know um, a, a model from a machine learning and it can tell you like uh, like essentially a a script that would have been looking at millions and millions of words and, and phrases and, and content online and being able to say, you know, that has been trying to recognize swear words and being able to return like a probability of like, I am 90% sure this is a swear word. Like this would be really great to have this. But another constraint is like, this has to be free. So we're not paying for that service. Um, so that, I don't know, you know, like if, because the, the project is, is fairly small. So if you were talking about a big social media platform or, or something involving, you know, a huge amount of users, then absolutely, this is definitely the route I would go. But in this case, we're doing very small, very limited means and, and no humans behind the screen. So what can we do given those constraints? I think it's kind of an interesting interesting challenge and the solution might be that we don't do it and so we just kind of lug the feature and we don't allow people to share the cards they create so let's see where was i at so we found we found a couple of pack npm packages which have roughly 400 500 words in them oh, 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 my cat oh so there you go. Don't spread too much. Sorry, my cat is on my laptop. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, we have like two kind of NPM libraries that are 
apparently able to detect about 250 for this one and then this one is at 450 ish give or take so and there's probably a lot of like samies in these libraries so this is this would be definitely a pretty weak solution uh, but at least it's faster than if i was to come up with that list so there's that uh, but definitely not strong enough is my fear in there but uh yeah let's see let's see if we have and we also found the apparently whoop. oh wow look at oh but this is like there's also the the question of language languages so you can write profanities in foreign languages um i mean i feel like the target language would definitely be english and I think Spanish would also be good to to be filtered out. So, you know, because these are the two major languages spoken in the U.S. And this is kind of the scope of of this application. So that would make sense. But let's see. I found. Oh yeah, there we go. So a list that was interesting is the Google profanity words, and I'm not entirely sure where they come from. It seems like there was an API provided by Google before to be like detecting these words. But here we have like an 958 words. So like all in all, I feel like we're coming with with more and more kind of lists and stuff that would be would make things a little stronger. So that's kind of uh, nice that way. So even if you know we can't we start from a weak foundation, but we can build up on it so that that's exciting so that it gets a little a little tighter okay so and and so we started with npm looking at npm packages now i'm looking at like github repos uh i think i'm gonna be more like looking at google in general in the future like after that so uh, open source project for content moderation ah that can be that can be interesting let's see profane detection so it uses bad words okay bad words plus I wonder what is plus about that. <laughs> um, no, that's the script itself. I was looking for the JSON file. Yeah, no, it's the same list. So it's not really plus in that sense. In advanced, it's worth in 27 different languages. What? Unbelievable. So many languages that can be detected. Oh, profanity words. Jason. Okay. <sighs> English. So for English we have one seventies. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Ooh, this is. Well, yeah, we're still uh, looking at like give or take four hundred fifty words. So. Why is, why is hello part of this? Why is it a zero? That's confusing. Um, okay. Okay, why not? Alright, so... Yeah. So let's see what Stack Overflow has to say. Overflow has to say about this. So, da -da -da, JavaScript profanity filter check for alternatives. Is it possible to check for another that would catch cases like these? So long as you are just trying to solve obvious cases. Uh, regex might be very helpful. 
okay yeah sure but we really I would really like something solid something that would be yeah there we go we got a medium post here okay <coughs> so the bad words package seems to be your reference we still had we we have looked at it already so i guess i could take the bad words and kind of yeah, build on top of it that seems to be kind of the solution So let's look at this article. Bad words, yeah. Share. <laughs> Profanity check. Reddit. What does Reddit tell us? Thought problem. Oh, that's by a spam filter. Good idea. Yeah. No, oh, because cunt is part of that. Okay, I see. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't say that word, but I see. <laughs> yeah, because if you detect the word, yeah, it's. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're taking on the French one. <laughs> yeah, it's not okay. All right, I guess we're gonna try that the bad words approach. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, let me install this real quick into the package file and then we're going to import it. Okay, here we go. Sorry, my cat is being extra cute as usual. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's do a new function, and we're gonna add it, have it in there. We're gonna put it down here. Uh, what function is inappropriate? And then return false. So this is kind of the basis we're going to start with, and then um, we're going to have um, here's the question. We're going to call it question because in this case it's only meant to be treating questions. So we're going to import bad words. So what's the recommendation? Oh, it's a okay. Uh, yeah, bad words filter from bad words. There we go. And so from there, I'm gonna make a new instance of it, and then from here. What we want to do is just, we only want to return a boolean. We don't really care what the squared word, swear word is, we just want to identify it. It's profane. Oh, I guess we can grab the card. Mm, no. <laughs> we can do f no we can do do we want this to be no we don't want to run it all the time we're gonna run it uh, back question 
so we're gonna yeah we're gonna grab we're gonna just kind of make it a little so questions are inappropriate so what we can do is we're actually gonna <laughs> kind of concatenate them I feel like that should work Showing with a space. So we're gonna move front question, back question. That should not really make a difference. So, um, so we're kind of doing that. So this is kind of a work in progress. So let's see. <laughs> I think this might need some love. Oh, no, you did not find them. Is that not called bad words? Uh, am I crazy? It's all bad words. Bad words, yeah? Oh, my bad. Alright, let's get back to it. So. I think it's probably better to name it like that. Our questions inappropriate. There we go. So that way we kind of 